Tesla has been at the forefront of the race to revolutionize the electric motor industry with their game-changing products thanks to their focus on improving energy efficiency and reducing environmental impacts. Tesla has once again pushed the frontiers of what is possible with its new hairpin motor, acclaimed for its outstanding performance, longevity, and design that requires very little maintenance. How will this motor be a game changer for Tesla, and which models will have the new motor? Before we get started, remember to smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell. With that done, let's get started, and don't touch that dial, because we have some amazing things about Tesla's future plans. Since Tesla started to rise, Elon Musk, who has served as the business product architect from the very beginning, has been in charge of the design of the firm's performance. Tesla has been designing its own motor since the company was first established, and the forward-thinking approach to engineering and production that Tesla takes has enabled the company to maintain its position at the forefront of the industry. Tesla has produced numerous generations of every kind of motor it has ever made over the course of its history. The induction and permanent magnet motors they produce are two of the most cutting-edge and productive types of electric motors available today. The design of an induction motor is rather straightforward, and it has a small number of moving parts in comparison to the design of other kinds of motors. As a result, it is extremely dependable and requires very little upkeep. On the other hand, permanent magnet motors include a magnetic field that is always present, which not only contributes to their high level of efficiency, but also reduces the amount of heat they generate while in use. Because of this, they are ideally suited for use in electric vehicles, which are particularly demanding in terms of efficiency and dependability. Each vehicle manufactured by Tesla typically incorporates motors of both designs. A permanent magnet motor is employed in configurations with rear-wheel drive and in cars with twin motors. An induction motor is added to the front wheels. They have the ability to switch the power supply between the two motors to achieve the best possible efficiency and torque in a variety of driving conditions. In addition, Tesla has always developed a new kind of motor for its models, such as the Model S or the Model X Plaid. The motor in these vehicles is carbon-wrapped with permanent magnet motors that offer an insane power curve that continues to output tremendous power even at high speeds. The new, next-generation motor for Tesla, which Elon Musk disclosed, goes in a different path by putting more of an emphasis on extreme scale. Not only has Tesla improved on features that are readily apparent to buyers, such as power and acceleration, but it has also made strides towards reducing energy use and improving efficiency. Building motors of excellent quality while keeping costs to a minimum requires significant effort. Tesla uses materials that are harder to come by or production techniques that are more difficult to understand for every vehicle, which is why they are so expensive. They are also unable to scale as a result of this factor. However, Tesla has already begun to cut expenses associated with the motor used in their Model 3 automobile, which is currently in production. They slashed the weight of the motor by 20% and decreased the number of rare earth metals used in production by 25%, contributing to a reduction in cost of 65%. Now, making improvements at the manufacturing is another essential step toward lowering the overall cost of the motor itself. Tesla demonstrated the new design for its electric motor during Investor Day. The new design, known as the hairpin motor, is distinguished from more conventional round wire windings by its use of stator windings formed like hairpins. The increased efficiency of hairpin electric motors is one of their primary advantages. This increased efficiency is a result of reduced winding resistance and improved heat dissipation. In addition, the windings of the hairpin electric motors allow for a greater copper fill factor. This means that more copper can be packed into the same space, which results in a more powerful magnet and consequently a more powerful motor. The hairpin motor has the same amount of power but takes up less space, uses fewer materials, and costs less than the conventional motor. The volume is not changed, but there is an increase in the slot full rate, as well as an increase in power density. The round wire is transformed into a flat wire, and the same volume is occupied while the amount of filled copper grows by 20 to 30 percent. This results in a power gain of 20 to 30 percent while maintaining the same amount of space in the motor. The motor's outer diameter and volume can be shrunk while maintaining the same level of power, which results in a lower overall requirement for the quantity of various other materials. An additional benefit is that the temperature performance is improved. Because of this, the internal cavities have been minimalized, the contact area between the flat wires has been increased, and both heat dissipation and heat conduction have been significantly enhanced. After running a temperature field simulation, the researchers concluded that the temperature rise of the same design's flat copper wire motor winding was 10% lower than that of the round copper wire motor. It is possible to increase the performance of several other metrics as well. 
it also lowers electromagnetic noise because it is possible to use a slot size that is rather tiny to successfully lower the cogging torque, which in turn will further reduce the electromagnetic noise produced by the motor. The other advantage is that it saves copper and improves efficiency. Because of difficulties in the manufacturing process, the ends of the classic round wire motors are often longer. If they were any shorter, the copper wire would be easily damaged during manufacturing. Since the wires in a hairpin motor are hardwired, the ends can be made smaller during the manufacturing stage, which results in the savings of copper and increase in efficiency. The amount of rare earth metals that the next generation of motors will require is one of the most significant revelations that Elon Musk has made. There will be absolutely no rare earth metals present, which is something that no one believed was even somewhat conceivable. Tesla asserts that they are not compromising performance in any way by doing this. These brand new motors will, if anything, have lower prices and astoundingly higher efficiency, all without the use of any rare earth metals. This is shocking on its own, and it has already generated some tremors in the stock markets of several rare earth miners, notably MP Materials, which fell 13% after Tesla's announcement, even though it regained some of those losses a few days later. The true benefit for Tesla is that the next generation motor will be produced more quickly without any bottlenecks in acquiring rare elements. And by doing away with these expensive components entirely, Tesla expects to make long-term cost savings of hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars. According to the presentation that Tesla gave, in the past, each drive unit consisted of neodymium, praseodymium, and dysprosium, found in Tesla's permanent magnet motor. Even though these metals are required to produce neodymium iron boron magnets, which are considered an essential component of the motor, Tesla has devised a method that eliminates the need for them. Some metals cost more than 1100 per kilogram, or over 100,000 per ton. The price of neodymium has recently risen to almost 123,000 per ton. Now, this one difficult to source rare earth metal was just removed from Tesla's next generation motor. And these cost reductions would have an even greater bearing on Tesla's MSRP as Tesla prepares to ramp up its operations over the next few years to reach its goal of producing 20 million automobiles. The Tesla motor will also use 75% less silicon carbide than it did previously. However, the reduction in chip size may affect the types of chips the motor uses. For example, Tesla reuses the inverter casing for all of their vehicles. This means that even if the inverters themselves may be somewhat different, you can take the inverter out of a Model Y and it will fit perfectly into a Model S. This is wonderful news in terms of compatibility. However, it has limits, such as the fact that Tesla cannot make a significant change without destroying this backwards compatibility. Nevertheless, in order to bring down the price of its next generation powertrain, Tesla will need to make significant changes. Therefore, this is the ideal chance for all of their components, which will be used to power Tesla's planned lineup of vehicles for the next half decade to undergo a complete makeover. Rare earth elements have been the main issue for electric vehicle supply chain since it can be difficult to secure supplies of these elements, and China is responsible for either sourcing or processing a substantial majority of the world's manufacturing. This is significant for a few reasons, not the least of which is the present drive by the Biden administration for locally produced electric car component materials. This is crucial for several other reasons as well. Given the importance of rare earth elements to the production of electric vehicles, the United States and China must continue to have amicable relations. It is possible that electric vehicle production in the United States would come to a grinding halt if Beijing decides to withhold the elements as a political power maneuver. In the past, Beijing has done this with Japan. On the other hand, there are several misconceptions concerning what a rare earth element is and how many of those elements are utilized by electric vehicles. In fact, contrary to conventional understanding, lithium-ion batteries rarely have any rare earth elements present, although they do have other critical minerals as defined by the Inflation Reduction Act. Neodymium is approximately two-thirds as plentiful as copper, indicating that these elements are not nearly as scarce as one might initially believe. In addition, not all varieties of electric vehicle motors use rare earth elements. Tesla, for example, incorporates them into its DC permanent magnet motors, but not into its AC induction motors. Initially, Tesla powered its automobiles with alternating current AC induction motors, which did not require the utilization of rare earth materials. However, when the Model 3 was released, the firm debuted a brand new permanent magnet motor. Eventually, the company started installing these motors in all of its other cars as well. However, it appears that Tesla is now working toward achieving the impossible, developing a permanent magnet motor that does not require use of any rare earth materials. 
What do you think of this motor design? Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. That's all from this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content. Until the next one, peace. I'm out.